Hello everyone, it's Anne from Anne's Paper Creations and uh, welcome to this tutorial on how to create this uh, uh, receipt uh, mini album. So this can be used for uh, receipts or uh, maybe also just for photos. And uh, for this I'm using the Home Sweet Home paper collection from Graphic 45. And I'm using uh, the 12 by 12, 8 by 8 and 6 by 6. So, uh, if you didn't see uh, the previous video where I showed it, I will just show you a bit now in the beginning of the video. So, here it's how it looks around. And I plan to have it uh, standing up in a bookshelf. So, then we can open it and I can just uh, pull down the receipt I like, like so. So, and it's uh, magnetized all the way here. But here you also, if you don't want to use all these magnets, you can uh, just create a belly band with a closure over to hold it together. So, and here I have a clip and here I plan to have some uh, receipts. Uh, if I get some new receipts, I can write, uh, take them in here and try them out and then write it inside here. So on this uh, side I will have just cakes and uh, on the back side here I will have all the dinner recipes. So and here is a pocket and uh, this magnets holders. And I also made an envelope after I filmed it just to, uh, to have uh, my leftover fussy cuts so we can add them on, uh, on here if I like to and also some leftover frames and so, so I just stuck them inside here. And uh, also um, I've added a lot of a fussy cut here and um, maybe show you a bit here. Be sure if you take photos all the way it's a bit uh, thick paper. Here I added um, some fussy cut and that also builds up a bit from the magnets so I had a bit problem here. So, but it, uh, does work now. I had to work a bit with it. So don't uh, take um, take uh, some decor over where the ma magnets are. So then we will start the tutorial. So we will start uh, with the pages and measurements here and I will show you this on uh, cream cardstock because it's more easy for you to see. But I will use a black prismatic uh, uh, cardstock, so it's a bit important to have a good quality uh, paper here. So this is cut at uh, eight and a half by six and a quarter, and then we're going to score it at a half inch and at four and three quarter. But here it's best to flip it over, so and score four and three quarter from the back side because of the folding, so the paper won't tear so easy. And um, uh, this I uh, got uh, nine of, but you can uh, make as many as you like. And also, if you like to have uh, two uh, pages on one 12 by 12 paper, you can cut it at uh, eight by six, and then you score it at a half an inch and at four and a half inch from the back side. So the reason I've cut it here, so it's six and a quarter, and this now measure four and a quarter, is because I want to use uh, the 12 by 12 frames, and also that it shows up some black on the outside here. So these are for the pages, and uh, the last the flap is cut at four and three quarter by six and a quarter, and then we score at a half inch here again. And if you like to have it at six inch, you cut it at uh, four and uh, a quarter by six inch. So, and I also like to round the corners a bit here, so it doesn't show so much up, uh, up on the back side. So you can round it or just to cut it in an angle. So that I do for all of them except the first one. So then we can fold uh, this, so this will fold this way, and this will fold this way. So, so then we can start gluing them together, and this folds this way. So I have already pre-made some here, so then we can start with uh, this one, and fold this over. 
So here you can use score tape or you can use some liquid glue. Here I have some uh, Scotch quick dry glue in a fine tip bottle. So I will link to the seller below if you like to know where to get it. So, and I also like um, this to line up. Uh, I use my scoreboard here so I'm sure it line proper up and I glue it almost all the way to the score line here. So, so then you see the valley fold here so then we can continue. So here I take some score tape. So line it up all the way to the edge and glue almost to the score line. So now you see it folds this way all the way so that you continue with uh, so many as you like to. And uh, to finish it up we take this piece here and line it up. See if I can manage here. I'm working between the legs of my tripod so it's a bit hard to see. So, so then we can fold it up like so. And this uh, last flap will create the hinge that will be glued down to the cover. So then we can take some magnets inside here and if you don't like to use the magnets you can make a belly band with a closure on top or the bottom if you like to. But I like to use the magnets here. So fold it over this way. So this way I think. <laughs> so I go from the short um, uh, line here to just so I know it will meet up on the other side. So here I'm using eight millimeter magnets and this I got from an eBay seller. So they are really affordable and it's uh, one millimeter thick. So I will link below to the seller. So then I place I've placed two on top of each other here. So here I already taken off uh, the score tape. So and then I just fold it over. So and you have magnets here. So it goes eight magnets uh, for each uh, page. So and then we can continue. So now it's uh, closed up on this side but it flips on the other side so I take some here as well. So again from the shortest page here, half inch from the sides. So now it's all closed up. And then I will uh, label each uh, page and here I will use uh, this die from Tim Holtz. I'm using this one. So here I just uh, glued some paper. You can use the back paper of the 12 by 12 or uh, the headline of the papers. So just glued that inside and then uh, glue it together here. So. And you can glue them on each page here. So, oops. That you can continue and place them up like so. And if you don't have this uh, die, you can just label uh, the pages if you like to. So, I can take this away and uh, show a bit here. You have the paper inside here. So, and just cut out the label and yeah, or you don't have to have anything. So now you can choose uh, which way you want this to go in the album. I will have it uh, this way and the hinge uh, down or you can take it on the top the hinge and let it flip down or just fold it the other way. And take it this way. So we will see. I've uh, uh, placed some magnets behind here as well. I'm um, not sure it will hold in the book but uh, 
we will see when we get it inside so maybe I have to make a closure for the album or yeah so but I hope it will hold so then we can start decorating the first page can maybe flip out a bit here so you can see a bit how it works like so so here I already cut out a lot of um, paper to fit inside here so here I cut out the frame and uh, yeah placed uh, this uh, baking lady and little boy inside and some chicken and this I uh, popped up and I also backed it with uh, some black paper just to uh, outline it to g uh, give it some depth but uh, you can make this really easy just take the paper or the frames like so and use that so but uh, I also have a fussy cut tutorial, so I will link to that as well below the video. So then we can glue this on. So right here I just will use some liquid glue. And glue this on here. So try to line it up here. Also taking some score tape on the back side here and I will take some uh, ATG in the middle here and the reason I've uh, taken scotch uh, or uh, score tape on the edges is because then I can line it up all the way to the edges it's a bit difficult with this one so then you can glue this on here so if you take it the, the other side then you glue it this way so. And it's maybe a bit hard to see here. We can flip this out. More easy to say, see maybe. And line it up. So a bit. And then we can continue on the other side. So for each uh, page here, I've uh, reused a frame on the top, on the large, largest uh, side, and uh, a place for the recipe here on the bottom so then we can glue this on best to take it to the right side and also be sure to go a bit from uh, the scoring line so it's more easy to fold and if you see inside here I've taken some um, shark tape, it's uh, the same as uh, a vinyl, just to prevent the tearing because this is going to be much used, but you can use any kind of tape if you like to. So, And uh, on the top here, I'm not uh, sure if I will uh, use uh, this uh, frame or... Uh, yeah, so I think I will just use uh, some repositional glue here to glue it down with. So then I can take it off when I take my picture inside. So just have it fastened a bit loose here. So, and that I will continue doing with all, oops, all the pages here. So maybe show you here. This is going to go here and this on the top. So this I will glue down and this I will just fasten with repositional glue. can show you a bit on the next uh, page here also. Here I have written Eplikake, that's apple uh, cake. So uh, here I wrote uh, the recipe and here I already put uh, the pictures inside. So we just glue it straight on. So now that this uh, side is uh, finished and then we can continue on the other side. So here I have uh, have these four magnets and I will place this over and I don't think I will have uh, so much um, embellishments here because uh, of the magnets we will see later. So we can glue this on top here, Let's see how it fits here about. 
so maybe I will glue this on here just to cover up this uh, tab here later, but I uh, have to see with the magnets first. And can maybe also show you on this side here, I have some tags just to stuck in on the front to make it a bit decorative. So, so then we can continue the same way as on the other side with uh, gluing in some uh, photo mats and uh, here for this side I've uh, uh, used only the six by uh, six uh, solid papers so I can write on here. So then I will continue gluing and uh, we'll be back and show you. So now I finished up gluing it all down so now it's uh, ready to be put in the cover. So I can maybe show you a bit uh, the measurements for this uh, cover. And uh, I, if you haven't made this before, I have a tutorial on uh, different uh, covers. So I will link to the video below. And uh, this uh, special cover uh, starts at the three and a half minute, I think, in the video. So I will link to that below as well. So the measurement for this is... Uh, uh, the front cover here is... Um, nine and a half by six and three quarter and this you need two of and the spine here is nine and a half by one and a half and I've used a TVEC envelope to glue it down with and then etch it around with a marker here and I also take some um, tape uh, some shark tape around the edges but here you can just paint it if you like to so now we are going to uh, I glue this inside here but I'm also going to have a pocket on the back side so here I've um, already made it uh, this strip is from the 12 by 12 and I just measured how uh, wide here so a bit uh, smaller than six and three quarter just so we make sure that this will fold up proper so yeah so I just glued it on some uh, black uh, prismatic papers again, same as in the album, and uh, scored a half inch about on each side. So that we will glue on the hinge here. Let's see, I must do it the right way here about, I think. I have to check. So, yeah. So I think maybe I will use some liquid glue here so I'm sure it will hold or both maybe take some score tape first so because I have some uh, shock tape here so the liquid glue won't fasten so easy to that liquid glue on the end here. So then we try to align this up in the middle about. So and then we also need a hinge on top here. So here I cut out a strip of uh, paper that is one and one eight, and then I scored it at a half inch and at uh, five eight of an inch. Give you a close up here. Hope you can see that. So that creates a bit of a depth on uh, the bottom of the pocket. So I just cut it to a size to fit the length here. So then we can glue this on here. Need to have it up. <laughs> so, and I see I have it a bit too long, so I need to cut it off. And I go a bit in an angle here. So, about. So then we can take this score tape off. So I'll just take some liquid glue on here. 
Tässä on oikein glyvitan. on top here now I am a bit exciting myself if this will hold so and then we can flip it over to fasten the magnet to the cover here press down here see magnets are so we'll see if it will hold here so yeah yeah I think it will work fine so then we can take some decor paper inside here so here I have some, uh, I'm not sure I will use this, uh, it's magnetized, so uh, I can magnetize the note inside, but I will try it first to see if the other magnets will still hold. Or yeah, I think it will work. You see here the picture builds up a bit when I have uh, pictures inside here. So. I think when we press it down a bit, it will hold. Yeah. So then we can glue this inside here. So I will do that off camera. I've placed the magnets here. I just uh, have the magnets under here. And then I place them on and place the magnets on the back side. So this I will glue on. And also um, I've cut out the strip. And here I used 12 by 12 paper that I will have in the middle. And uh, also on the side here. So then I will be back. I also decided to have a pocket on this side and also a little one here so I can maybe show you that as well. So I used the same uh, strip, border strip here and backed it with black paper. So I'll just glue that direct on the paper here. So this paper I already have glued down. This one. So. And then I want this pocket on this side. So here I just scored around it and uh, cut it uh, to size to fit on this side. So I just have taken some score tape on. So we can glue this on the bottom here. So this is not building up anything in the bottom part here. So just make sure that it will fold easy, and I did. Take it a bit out. Here about, I think. So, and then I can just slide this over the hinges inside here and glue it down. Should be a bit here. It was a bit too wide so I think I need to cut off a bit of the side here. So now it's uh, glued on and I also want uh, this uh, clip on the top and that's uh, why I uh, choose to take this uh, the other side because it builds up a lot on the bottom here so if I turned it around it wouldn't be room enough for this I could have taken the spine uh, wider but uh, I didn't want that so I just lined it up where I wanted it and put a mark uh, on each side and uh, here you need some uh, this is from Tim Holtz so you need some large uh, brads here so then I use my uh, drill to uh, poke holes with. So then we can glue this down. And I think I will have some uh, glossy accent on the back here just to secure it. So I'm sure it will glue well down. So then we line it up here. the 
rats in sight. I'm not sure where I got uh, these uh, brads uh, from, but I bought them here in Norway, I think. So, oops. have to be a bit careful so I don't get the glossy accent on the outside here. So, and then we can take this down. them well done. So then it's ready to be decorated a bit in the inside here. So here I fussy cut out some uh, flowers. So I think I will have them inside like so. Maybe this on the side here if it fits. So also cut this out. So I will glue this uh, down off camera so you don't have to watch all the gluing. And also then you can put some uh, recipes or anything inside here. i just take it in the pocket and uh, clip it like so. So then the cover is left. So now the inside uh, cover is uh, finished. And I don't think we need any closure because uh, this will hold. So then you can just flip down when you're going to have a recipe and look at it like this. So then we can take the outside uh, cover. And here I've um, uh, cut out some images and uh, paper priest it uh, together. And here I used Multimat to glue it all down be with because I'm going to use uh, this and then I want it to be uh, uh, when I have maybe some food on my hands or anything to uh, so it will last. So I will use um, the Claudine Helmut Multimat. Uh, this is uh, retired now, but uh, uh, the Ranger Multimat, Multimedium Mat is the same. So I will show you a bit how you can make this frame. I'm going to have uh, for the back side here. So this I cut out from uh, the 12 by 12 paper and we are going to put it together and then I will just uh, take a small amount of uh, glue because I'm going to have some uh, decor under here so pull this out all the way. So I think I just will glue it a bit down on the side here. and line it up. And this uh, backing paper I cut a bit smaller than, uh, than um, the cover. So, and we do the same on this side. And here you see I was missing a piece of uh, paper but I just glued another one over. So I just had enough uh, paper here. I don't think I will have anything on the top, so I can just glue it all the way here. So we need to be a bit precise here, lining it up. So. And then we can cut off uh, these corners here. So here I just lifting up these uh, pieces here and I go from one ed edge to the other. So. So about, and that wasn't precise at all, so I need to cut off a bit more. I think I just can snip this off here, yeah. And we do the same for the other side, it's more easy to do when you glue it all the way up here, so it's just a bit to, uh, so you have it uh, laying flat, so I can maybe hold it like this and 
see now if I manage to get it precise. So that was better. So then we can uh, glue down the sides, but I think I will have some uh, fussy cut uh, down here first. So I have a lot of images here, so I will fast this a bit forward. So, and I also have a frame here that I want in the middle, I think. So, try to line it up here. As you see, I take a good of amount of uh, multi mat, and I will uh, let this uh, dry, and then I will make or take another uh, cover of uh, multi mat over. So, I'm not sure I will have this here. This, yeah, I think I glue it on. So here it says receipt the kitchen I backed it with some red paper. So then I will let uh, this uh, dry and then I will take one more layer over. While uh, this is uh, drying I thought I could uh, share you, uh, with you another more easy way to cut uh, the corners also. and. Um, I can also show you the spine here, this way. So this I paper piece together, I cut out this blue stripe here to go on the side and I took also the border on the top and bottom here. And also when I <laughs> took on the multi mat, uh, one of the carrots uh, starts moving, so I glued another one over here. So then I can show you on a piece of uh, paper here on the corners. So just have a strip here, so you can glue a bit on, so then I just glue a tiny bit on here, so I go a bit on the outside, line it up with the paper, and also this one here. So go a bit on the outside. So instead of uh, lifting these two layers up like we did on the other one, if we lifted it up, it is a bit more difficult to get it precise. You can just lift it all up and hold it and go from one corner to the other corner. And then it's more easy to get it precise. So but then you cut uh, through this uh, backing paper also. So. That's also a way to do it. So now it's uh, all uh, dried up and uh, I've glued on uh, the front cover and also on the spine here. And uh, when we take uh, multi mat up, 
on it started to, the paper started to wrinkle up a lot. So on this one I took the glue on after uh, I took the multi mat on and this uh, back cover I wanted to try both uh, ways. I took a glue on first and I think it's pretty much uh, the same. Uh, so I, I'm not sure what's uh, best. So but I take a glue all the way. So I'm sure it won't uh, bubble up anything. So then I can take uh, all this uh, score tape off and we can glue it on. So now I've taken the glue off or <laughs> the tape off. So then we position it here and try to line it up. See how it fits on the end. I think that is fine. So uh, then this is uh, finished and I hope it was a bit inspiring and maybe you can use some ideas. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, please look below the video. There you will find uh, um, the link to my blog where I answer questions and also all the other links. Just uh, click show more and it will show up. So take care everyone and have fun creating. Bye bye.